Okay, so in this process, we are now on step three. We need to take the Google Doc that we created, use the questions at the bottom, and we're going to take those and put them into a Google form so we can collect the students' responses and then electronically grade them. So you make sure you are on this page where up in the corner you can see, if you hover, that you are logged in with your Clovis Unified Google account. So you're going to click on the array, go to your drive, you're going to go to New, then More, and then say Google Forms. Okay, so once this pops up, we are going to make it a split screen. So I'm going to grab the top and I'm going to click on the header. Um, I don't want to click on any tabs. I'm going to click over here where it's solid. Click and hold it, drag it down, and then drag it all the way over to the side where you see that ghost outline. Then when you let go, it snaps to the side. Then I'm going to click on the My Drive tab. I'm going to grab that tab. I'm going to pull it down and move it to the other side. So the first time I clicked on the solid color and pulled it over, the second time I just wanted this tab, so I clicked the tab and drag it over. So now I'm going to open up that Google document. So this is my story, the five second rule. I definitely want to make sure that I have shared it properly. Anyone who has the link can access. So that way when the students go to the site that this is embedded in, they can see it. Okay, so now on to the Google Forms. Um, if I'm using a Google Form with my students. I require them to log in. That means if I push this out through Google Classroom, they're logged into Google Classroom, they're going to be able to see the form when they click on the link to go to um, the site where they can see the reading and the form. And I want to automatically collect the respondent's CUSD username because sometimes our little friends, when they type in their name, they, they are a little silly and they type in things that they shouldn't. So um, I go ahead and I collect that. The untitled form, this is where you put in the title of the reading. So we're going to call it the five second rule. Here in the form description, if you need to, you can add some additional information about the form. Uh, the first question I always put in there is the student's first name. And I need to make it a text. I make it required so they have to type in their first name and I click done. Okay, so to add the next question, I click add item. I'm going to change it to a text. And here I put in last name. I make it required, so they have to type it in. Then I click done. So now the beginning of my form will be first name, last name. Okay, now we're going to get into the adding the questions that we had here at the bottom of this page. So I'm going to add item. It's multiple choice. So my question, I'm going to copy it from this side. And I'm going to paste that question here. This is why it's really handy to do the split screen. Okay, then I'm going to come down and where the multiple choice things start, I'm going to highlight them. And we're going to copy them. And over here where it says option one, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to paste those in there. And you see what happens wherever there's a, a little space or an enter break, it puts it in a different field, I can go through now and click the X's and just delete out what I don't want. Okay, So I'm going to make that a required question so they have to answer it. I'm going to click done for that question. I click add item. Then I get another multiple choice. So I'm going to scroll down to the next question. Oh, I noticed that D here I missed. I can come back up here, click on it, click here, and I can add clean. I click done. Okay, on to the next question. I'm going to highlight this question. I'm going to copy it. Over here, I'm going to paste it. 
multiple choice, I'm going to come over here and highlight the answers. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to highlight the option one. I'm going to paste those in. I'm going to go through now and just delete the ones I don't want because it, ha it put those A, B, C, D in there as choices. I don't want those. I click required question and done. So we'll do one more together. I'm going to add an item. It's multiple choice for right now. I highlight the question. I copy it. I paste it. Then here are my multiple choice options. I'm going to copy those. And here I'm going to paste them. I'm going to remove the answer choices I don't want. Click required question and done. So if I come back up, you see these little red asterisks? That shows that those questions are required. They have to answer them. They can't skip. Okay, so quickly, let's come down here. I'm going to show you how to add an open-ended question. Okay. So add item, I've been getting multiple choice when I add. Just click add item. If I click the arrow, I can come down here to paragraph text. Now I can highlight that question that requires that long answer. I can go ahead and paste that in there. And now it gives a little box down underneath for the students to type their answer. I'm going to make sure I make it required and click done. And so basically we have now the shell of our form. Okay, so if I just stop right now, let's take a look at our form. What's it going to look like to the students when they go to take this form? If I click view live form, this is what I get. I can see first name, last name, the questions I typed in, and here is that one question that requires a long response. Now, to go back to editing the form, you're going to click Edit This Form button. It takes you back here where you can add more questions. So this gets me to a point now where I can take these two items and embed them in the Google site. So I have my reading passages on one side, and I have my questions on the other. And it, it kind of mirrors what the students have to do on the S back as far as scrolling through and reading, and then scrolling up and down to an and answering the questions.